Hello and welcome to our next tutorial. Today we are going to be making this awesome figure that I'm sure dominates your life, or at least most of you. And honestly, if we tried to make this the traditional way, it would be really hard and very time consuming. So I'm going to click the letter D for this. You already saw that at what I did, right? And if I were to try to make this, I guess I could make the shape this way, but then you get all these little curves here and it makes it very difficult. So today <clears throat> we're going to show you another way and it's actually very cool. So let's just get started. First thing you want to do is you want to get the Snapchat logo. So I typed in Snapchat logo and let's click on images and you want some, you know, I want it to appear over here, so let's see. There it is. I'm going to right click on this, save image as. Now, I've done this before, so you're going to see that I already have it over here, but you want to name it if you can. Sometimes your computers don't give you an option, it just saves it automatically. So I'm going to type this snap, snap chat logo. <clears throat> there we go. Now I'm going to go to a website called Convert, Convertio. Now this website might be blocked wherever you are if you're doing this at a school. So what I'm, what you can also do is do a search for convert to SVG and see what your options are. All these, I used to use this one down here in my classroom, but it got blocked. So I'm now going to be using this one. I'm going to choose my file and this was the butterfly one. Snapchat logo right there, open. This is where you get to choose what you want it to turn into. Now, if you scroll over any or hover over any of these, it changes your options. You want to scroll over image, <clears throat> then SVG. Sometimes SVG will be over here or over there. Just look for it, it'll be there. You click on it and then convert. You wait a few seconds and there you go. This is a very small image file, so. I'm going to download this. Now, on your computer, it may not give you the option to name it. So you would just have to look over here. I'll show you where. Snapchat logo SVG. Let me put 225 because that's the year we're in, in case you didn't know that. Now, here, you might just have this pop up whenever you hit download. This tells you where it's going to be. And this one here says, open it. You don't really want to open it. You just want to find out where it is. Now, you're going to go back to Tinkercad and you want to, all right, I want to get rid of that. Oh, click there. Okay, go away. I guess we're stuck with it. Import. Choose your file. This is the one we just did right now today at 6.06. That's what time I'm making this. This thing's going to be huge and that's okay. That is perfectly fine. Import. So whatever you get, whatever size you get, you want to, you're going to click on one of these, but before you do, you're going to hit the shift button. So I'm holding the shift button down and then I'm going to drag this to get roughly 66 by 65, if I remember correctly, 60, almost there. You know what? Getting kind of lazy. I'm just going to type in 66 right here. There. Now that only works by the way, when you Come on, you can do this. That only works if you hit the shift button and you move this up and down like I was just doing earlier. Then you can go and do that, you know, making it a certain size. Let's check the numbers again because I was messing around with it. Yeah, this is fine. Let me move this out of the way. Okay, I'm going to make this a height of, let's zoom in here. I'm using the click wheel at the center of my mouse. Let's make that a five. Perfect, five. Now I'm going to drag a block or a box over here. I'm going to make this a height of three. Let's make it yellow because, you know, it's going to look cool soon. And the measurements are going to be what? Oh, yeah. 80 by 80. So enter and enter. OK. It is not centered yet, or at least I don't think it is. So I'm going to click and drag over both. Now I have them both selected. I'm going to click the align tool or just press the letter L. There it is. This will align it this way and that way. 
Good. Perfectly aligned. I'm going to turn this one into... Oh, I want to click on just that one. See how I click on it, but everything is selected? That be That's because I need to zoom in and so Tinkercad knows exactly what I want. Then I click it again. I want it to be black. There you go. Now, it's not white in the middle. And I guess if you really wanted to, you can print it like this and just uh, color this white in the printer. However, if you want this to be printed fast or, I don't know, faster than, than you know, multicolors at the same time, this is a shortcut. So pay attention, people, because this is where it gets complicated. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to duplicate it. I could click here, but I like my shortcuts. Control D. There. I have duplicated it. I'm going to color it white. And then I'm gonna make it four, a height of four. You can't really see it, but this is the part where I'm talking about here. This is the cool part. I'm gonna increase my quality and I want it to be an inner line, meaning I want it to be inside. Now here, I'm gonna change this to 20, or no, let's do it 10, just so you can see what's going on here. It's gonna make this line thicker, but in that direction. It takes, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 seconds for it to take effect. But you'll get the idea once it starts going in there. Trust me, any second now, this is going to happen. It's going to be amazing. Any second now. But don't get frustrated because it will happen any second now. I don't know. I guess I'm going to give up. <clears throat> I'm going to try to select that thing right there. So I'm going to make the black one go away. Okay, check this out. I'm going to zoom in. I'm trying to get the black one only. There it is. And I'm going to make it disappear. Now, don't worry. We'll make it reappear later. Let's make this, I don't know, 20. And let's see what happens. I hit 20 and then enter, by the way. Ah, there you go. It's going on the inside now. Let's make it 40. Now that we can see it, let's do this. Let's, let's look at the black outline again by clicking on this one up here, the little light bulb there. Okay, we still have the white part connected, so let's make that 60 and hopefully we get it all covered. What do you guys think? Will it get all covered? Oh, so close. Let's do 80. And that should work right there. Okay, now this is completely done right now. You have the Snapchat logo. My students though, I, I mean, Hey, thanks for watching, blah, 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 all that stuff. Subscribe and like all, and all that stuff. But my students, I want you to pay attention to this because I'm going to export this because I want you to see how, I'm going to export this as an STL, how to, okay, Snapchat logo, let's say finished. How to color it in our program. This one right here, which is called Bamboo Studio. I'm going to have to drag it from another screen. That way you guys can see it. Good. Perfect. Let me maximize this. You can see everything here. All right. Here are some of the designs that you see. Some of these are mine. Pretty cool. I know I'm going to create a new project. There. This is the button you press to import it. You should know this stuff since you've already seen the video. And I want to go to finished right here, right? That's what I named it. <clears throat> Okay, I want this is gonna be mostly yellow. So I'm gonna click the first one as yellow. That way it'll be less work later. My second most prevalent color is gonna be white and then blacks right there. So I have this selected. I'm gonna click on the paint bucket and I'm gonna zoom in with the mouse wheel. Okay. So I'm gonna color the white part white right now. I'm gonna do that. Not I mean I could use this one, but it really is only gonna color color the top part. So let's check this out. If I do this. There it is, right? But that's only the top part. And some of you don't have this. By the way, I saw a lot of students do this in my class. You want edge connection, uh, edge detection on, and then you can mess with this. Okay. But again, that didn't really help us. What we're going to do is we're going to use the height range. So let's tilt it over here. And let's change this to 0.9. And what I want to do is I want to start coloring right about there there now if you don't have a, a, a layer that thick when you're doing this what's going to happen is the white will not be as white as possible it'll be a little yellow so 
Now I'm gonna click the outline for black. Notice I clicked on the black, still this one. I'm gonna click on the top. Now, if you can see here, it's gonna print yellow, switch colors to white, then yellow, then black. Uh, and it'll be a very thin layer of black. In fact, it'll be just one layer of black. That's not cool. So I'm gonna zoom in and I don't want the white to be touched here. This is what happens if I do that. The inner part turns uh, black, not cool. So I hit Control Z. Now, I'm also looking over here, by the way. And then I go up a little bit, and there it is. There's a little bit of yellow, but I'm going to, I think I got rid of it. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm also going to go back to white, because I don't want any extra yellow in there, because that would mean it would just go slower when you when I would print this. So there you go. This is it. <clears throat> this is how you would color this. Oh, I see something here. By the way, let me show you what I'm seeing. Uh, I look back here and I see this is partly white, partly yellow. That means that the machine is going to be uh, making yellow, switch colors, then white, switch colors, then yellow. And that's going to take forever. In fact, let's see if that's accurate. I'm going to hit slice. And this print's going to take 46 minutes, which tells me it's not that bad. So this right here tells you all the different layers and what they're going to look like. See, I'm going to go down and see the blacks going down. Now it's all white. Now it's all yellow. However, there's some white down there. I don't want any white down there. It's just going to slow my print down. No white at all. So remember this number, 46 minutes. Let's see if we can get that down to something shorter. I'm going to click uh, the paint bucket and white. I'm sorry, uh, it should be yellow. I forgot to click the yellow. Okay, so we're good now. Let's, let's see how long it's going to take. I click slice. And now it's going to take 37 minutes. It was 46 before, so it's nine minutes faster if this doesn't have any white down here. Do you see the importance of checking? Very important because then you're going to get your print faster when you do it. And that's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.